You better not duck me, thun. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, tomorrow is a good day for fighting. UFC 205, and of course, not too many people talking about it, but Danny Garcia is fighting as a prelude fight against Samuel Vargas. It is, in every sense of the word, a tune-up fight before fighting this man right here. None other than one-time Keith Thurman. And just so everything is uh, transparent, I'm going to go to, I posted this, but I'm going to pull it from Keith Thurman's verified page. Vote for one time. That's kind of funny. Get out there and vote. Now, he posted this picture of him. And this is what I like about PBC is like they got the fighters, Danny Jacobs and Sergio Mora and Andre Berto, Danny Garcia. I've seen a ton of these guys call fights and that's good it's just because you get a active fighter's perspective you don't have to wait till a fighter retires or something so it's, it's good to see especially sometimes I, I remember i went to cover the andre berto victor ortiz rematch and they had danny garcia calling it which was potentially a fight because they're all in the same division you know i mean garcia moved up to welterweight so that's where things really get interesting now keith thurman just posted this tune in to spike tv tomorrow night at 9 p.m eastern 9 p.m Pacific time to hear what I have to say about Danny Garcia and Danny I've got my eyes on you one time so just in case anyone didn't know Danny Garcia once again is fighting Samuel Vargas as a fight a voluntary defense until he faces Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman is going to be I don't know if he's calling the fight or if they're just going to do like an in-between uh, rounds or in-between fights, sit down or stand up with Keith Thurman. But either way, I like this. Good move by PBC to build up. I mean, I don't really think there's anyone out there that thinks Danny Garcia is going to lose to Samuel Vargas. But the hard part's already done. He's already weighed in, may wait. And I like to see this. Let me know your predictions. Troy King and Aaron Coley, they're going back and forth. The video's on the channel. Make sure you check that out. They, they're they split on who they think is going to win the fight, and so are the fans. And that's how you know you have a good fight. Because if it wasn't a good fight, everybody, like Canelo Liam Smith, there wasn't really anyone non-British, you know what I'm saying, who was just probably riding with, with their countrymen that was really picking Liam Smith and, and saying he's really going to do it. He's going to beat Canelo. You know what I mean? So that's how you know that's the mark of a good fight. Let me know who you got. Damn, y'all going in on Danny. Let me know if Danny Garcia, which he should. I did a box of ego first look. Danny Garcia, Samuel Vargas. Check that out. And let me know what do you think Keith Thurman is going to say. And do you think we'll have any kind of run-ins or altercations or they'll let Keith Thurman in the ring. I'm looking forward to that. But I definitely will be in tune with the UFC 205. It's just such a stacked card. And this is rare because nine times out of ten, I'm boxing before MMA, like when there's two, if there's an MMA bout and a boxing, but this this UFC one is just so big, and this Danny Garcia fight is so predictable that I gotta shift my my uh, sights and stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Are you watching UFC 205? Are you watching Danny Garcia, Samuel Vargas? Drop that in the comment section. What do you think Keith Thurman has to say to this man on the screen, Swift Garcia? Drop it in the comment section, share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego something.